Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be doing another LEGO review video. Today I'll be reviewing set number 75301, the X-Wing Starfighter, and this set came with 474 pieces, comes with four minifigures, and retailed for $50 in 2020 when it came out. And we're going to see if that is worth it. So here is a first look at the set. This is the X-Wing, and I think it is downsized from the last X-Wing that LEGO made. I'm not sure when the last one was made, but I know this is the cheapest X-Wing they've ever made. That is not a microfighter or a polybag. Then over here are the minifigures. So we have three minifigures there, but it also comes with an R2-D2. Let's take a look at the play features of the set. So starting off, let's take a look at the minifigure involved play features. So the first one with pretty much every Starship set or X-Wing, you can put a minifigure in the cockpit. So if you open this up, here I'll move the camera so you can see, there is a little area for Luke Skywalker to sit in and it has that black piece there that keeps him from falling out. And so you just pop him in there like this and then you just close it and yay he's in there and then you just kind of put his lightsaber off to the side you can't really put this anywhere in the set which is unfortunate and then you can put r2d2 in the set as well so you just pop him in back here and here i'll show you there is two bricks that keep him in so he he won't fall out, but it's also really easy to get him out. So pop him in there and you just pull him out. Yeah, he's not going to fall out, y'all. I'll aggressively shake the ship. Yeah, he's not coming out. <laughs> so yeah, that's all the minifigure play features. Let's take a look at the other play features of the set. So the first one with pretty much every single LEGO Star Wars set ever made, of course, they're spring-loaded shooters. So I actually think these ones are kind of cool because they're kind of concealed underneath the wings and you kind of just press down right here. Wrong way. You kind of press up. Yeah, I forgot about that. They're upside down, as you can see by the way they built it. The bottom wings are upside down. So you just kind of attach it like this. And instead of pressing down with most, instead you press up which I think it's a little bit harder to do, but I like how they did that because it makes them less obvious to people looking at the set that there's actually spring-loaded shooters because sometimes they, those can be ugly. Another really cool play feature, and my favorite play, play feature in the whole set, is you might have noticed this weird bar thing right here. Now, if you lift up the set and you press on it, the wings kind of out into attack mode which i think is really cool that's just awesome it was kind of complicated to build there's like a whole mechanism inside here that makes it do that but i think it's worth it it's super cool and then to make it go back to normal you can just land the ship or push it back together so that's all the really cool play features all right let's talk about minifigures so the first minifigure i'm going to talk about is the luke skywalker minifigure and i think he looks very detailed i just one thing I really like about this minifigure is just how nice it is that they continued his, like, air pipe here down to his leg printing. That's just super cool. This is just such a detailed Luke Skywalker minifigure. And I think compared to what we see in the old ones, it's just so much better. And also, I think his, I think his helmet is the same, though. But underneath the helmet, he has these nice goggle printings. Because I know they, they stopped doing the goggle printings for a little while and did the whole molded thing. And I heard people didn't really like that. And I never had that piece, so I, I think this one looks fine. And on the back, he has the happy face, and he has some nice vest printing. Overall, a great figure. Next minifigure is Princess Leia, and I think that having Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker in one set together that you can buy is just a great thing. That's just awesome to get them both in one set, and a relatively inexpensive set compared to the other sets that have come in together. And I think this Princess Leia is great. Because before I had this Princess Leia, I did not have a Princess Leia. And I think that it's just really detailed. I like the hair printing or hair mold. It's super cool. And I think her face is really good. It kind of amplifies what we see in the movie. And then she has a smile on the back. And she has a nice printed dress piece, which is super nice. I'm glad they actually printed it. Anyway, a really detailed figure and very accurate to what we see. New and unique to the set 
well, until we got Yavin 4, is General Dorgana. And I think this is the first time he's ever been in LEGO. And he looks super cool. I really like the Silver Blaster. I know that's not exclusive, but I always liked it when they include that. And he has a nice hair piece. I think this is might be new. I think it might have been used on Ollivander from Harry Potter, but I'm not sure. And he has some nice printing of his Rebel outfit. I think it looks very nice. And on the back, he has a more concerned or angry face. And he has some not very detailed back printing, but it gets the point across. I've been putting it off, but it's time to talk about R2-D2. <sighs> I feel like that in almost every set I've reviewed, there's been an R2-D2 in it so far. Anyway, just a normal R2-D2 with the, the big projection thing, so I don't really like that very much, but he is a normal R2-D2, looks great, doesn't have any back printing. There, I'm done. So, stickers and prints time. Well, there's a lot of stickers in the set, but there aren't very many prints. So I'll talk about prints first. So this piece right here, this cockpit piece, is actually a unique print to the set. I think it looks really cool. It's very nice. It gives a lot of extra detail to the set. And the other printed piece is this control panel. Nothing special about that. It's in like 50 billion LEGO sets. <laughs> now on to the stickers. Um, there's a lot of stickers in this set. There's one right here for the yellow stripe. There's some on the wings right here and right here, and on the other side too. There's some on these intake things. There's a yellow one over here and a gray one over here. And on the side right here, there's more stickers, one right there and one right there. And then on top, on this like contraption thing, there's one there, one there, one there. And I think that's it. There's a lot of stickers in this set. I remember seeing the sticker sheet and being really concerned that I'd mess up one of the stickers. <laughs> So are there any weak parts in the set? Now, I think there are actually a lot of weak parts in this set. And I don't know if it's just the way I hold it, but I just, this set has a lot of weak parts or parts that just don't seem to fit quite right. And the first one I'll talk about is, I guess this is a play feature too. I should have mentioned it in there, but it does have landing gear. It's not retractable or anything, but it kind of swivels. But this piece right here, oh boy, this piece is so annoying. It pops out so easily and then you just lose it. And I actually lost mine and I had to go to my own collection to get a new one because it just falls out so easily. Like you just bump it and it falls out. It's super annoying. And yeah, I do not like that. <laughs> and the other landing gear pieces are fine though. These don't fall off because they're on like these pieces here that are really secure. Another bunch of weak parts, actually, are these things right here. They're like the candle pieces. They kind of attach right here, and they fall off so easily when I store the set. Like, I'll put it in my chest, which is where I store some of my sets, and I'll just come back, and all four of them are off, and I have to find them all. It's annoying, but I'm, I'm glad they're there because it makes the set look so much better. And one more weak part. not I mean, not really weak. It doesn't really fall off, but just part that doesn't look very secure it's these engine pieces they don't fall off but they're constantly like drooping like this like it the way it was before is like this so it's just drooping and it looks really weird and it's just i feel like it's bad for these pieces the way they have it connected so those are basically all the weak parts in the set so is this set accurate to the movies well, I think it is mostly accurate to what we see in the movies because, I mean, it is downsized, so they have to sacrifice some parts of accuracy to make it fit that $50 price tag. Like, one thing would just be the size. It is a bit small, and I, I do notice that these, they seem a bit small for, like, what we see in the movies. But I think other than that, I think they did a really good job portioning the whole thing down to be accurate. And I also really like how... These pieces in the back are pink, like what we see in the movies. And I don't usually talk about this in my videos, but swooshability, which is basically like, how good does it feel when you're like fake flying it in your hand? And I just wanted to say that this set gets a 10 out of 10 on that front just because of this wing feature. It's so satisfying to do while flying it. It's just great. I love that feature. It's so cool. I mean, they, I don't think they had that in bigger X-Wing sets, which is surprising because this is like the smallest one and it has like a super cool feature that none of them have. Now it's time to talk price per piece. So when the set retailed, it was $50 in 2020. And I, I won't adjust for inflation because that's pretty recent. And I think you can still buy this for $50. So it had 474 pieces. So 
it's around nine cents or 9.5 cents per piece. So that is a, that's a pretty good deal. That's average. And I think for what you're getting, it is a really good deal. So overall, I think this set is a nine out of 10. The only problems are the weak parts right here and that land gear piece that falls off all the time. But other than that, it's a great display model and has a bunch of great features. So I think it's a nine out of 10, almost perfect. There you have it guys. That's my review of set number 75301 the X-Wing Starfighter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.